Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Excuse my crazy hair. I am so excited to be back and this is a really cozy video. So I'm gonna ask you to get your cup of tea. I've got my old grey tea here and just settle in because this is a really cute one. I'm gonna be going through my October favourites. They're gonna be new things that I am a kind of fan favourite of since the beginning of the month. And they're also gonna be like tried and tested things that I've absolutely loved for a long time. I love sharing things that make me feel good and I love sharing things that are just, just make you happy, put a smile on your face, like all the things that make life even better because if that means that I can make your day just that extra bit more special, then why would I not want to do that? Do you know what I mean? So by the way, I'm trying to get out of habit of saying, do you know what I mean? Because I say it a lot. So if I say it, I mean, count how many times I say it and comment how many times I say it. And I will try and make a conscious effort of decreasing that number every time I do a video because I mean, it's the only way I'm gonna measure it and keep myself accountable. You need to keep me accountable for not saying it so many times. We're gonna improve. It, uh, I'm telling you by January, I'm not gonna be saying it anyway back to the fan favorites. I just want to make your day a little bit better. And I do it a lot of the time with my friends and I think they get, I think they hear me say things so many times, they get a little bit bored. So I'm gonna share it with all you guys that don't know my favorites so that you can have some new favorites. You can make your day a little bit better, especially if you're having a bad day. I feel like when you have a bad day all of these things that make you feel good, they may make your day better by 2%, but that 2% can make such a big difference in you having a better night's sleep, in you having a better day tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy my favorites and let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start with the beginning of the month for me. So I went on holiday at the beginning of the month, went to Greece, Crete, which is an incredible place and I would highly recommend it if you've not been. But I bought some new products. First one I'm gonna be sharing with you is this one. So this is Nux, Nux, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Refreshing after sun lotion, here we go. I'm not a big fan of the after sun lotions that are like Nivea, Garnier, I'm just, I'm not a big fan. Call me bougie, do with it what you will, but I'm just not. So this one smells absolutely incredible. It smells like honey. When you're on holiday, I don't mind spending that little bit extra. This goes a long way as well. Like a little bit goes a long way. We were away for a week and both me and my boyfriend were using it and I've still got this much left, this much left of the bottle. So, I think that's always a good sign. The bottle in total, I remember cost me 33 pounds because in the, at the time I was like, you what? <laughs> but like I said, a little bit has gone a long way. And I actually bought it from Marks and Spencer's beauty section. I was running around like a headless chicken trying to find after sun because it was the beginning of October and everyone had been on holiday. So there was no after sun anywhere. And I found this and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance. And I'm so glad that I took a chance on this. It also has that lock um, maneuver, which I think is so great because when you're on holiday and you pack things like this, I don't know about you, but one of my fears is that it's gonna explode and go everywhere. But if I know that it can't press down and it just locks, fear gone. Do you know what I mean? So I would definitely recommend this. It is a bit more on the pricey side, but like I said, I think it's so worth it. It's something that you don't really buy often. And when I go on holiday, like I said, I like to smell nice. So this is a definitely a favorite. And then when you put your perfume on top of it, you're onto a winner, do you know what I mean? So that's number one. The next favorite is from the holiday also. So it is this super goop every single face sun cream. It is the best sun cream for my face that I've ever bought. This is specifically for your face. I'm sure you could use it in other places, but it's such a small bottle. I don't know why you'd want to do that. So I have got very, very, very sensitive skin and I'm currently using tretinoin. So I need to be using sun cream when I'm abroad. And a lot of the sun creams can either be really thick or they leave a white cast. And 
when you've got sensitive skin and you've got some acne like I do and you put a thick sun cream on and it drags across your face especially when it's burning and irritated you're using tretinoin it is one of the worst things this when I tell you the consistency is I mean it's just incredible like it's it's nice and thin it it just slides over and <laughs> it doesn't leave a white cast at all it literally just it doesn't even feel like you've got sun cream on and it's not really got a smell to it which I quite like because it's just literally as if I've not put it on or if it's just a really lightweight moisturizer so I would highly highly recommend it so the brand is super goop and I got it on cult beauty so this comes with a really nice applicator as well and it clicks on I just find this so satisfying the click anyway the applicator is super easy to use i either put it on my face or i just put a bit on my finger and then i just dab and go along and it's really like such a nice size that you can just pop it in your beach bag when you're going to the beach i do also use this at home because you're supposed to use spf daily if you don't know you're keeping the uv away even when it's winter you're exposed to uv it's quite literally the best face sunscreen that i've ever used in my entire life and like I said, if you're a sensitive skin girly, 10, 10. Next up, we have these beauties. I feel like the world is either going crazy, especially on TikTok, in terms of lip balm for either Summer Fridays or Road. I haven't tried the Road, so I can't attest to it. But these are, quite honestly, the best lip balms that I've ever used, ever, ever. I've used Vaseline, I've used Nivea, I've used... L Laneige? Laneige? I've, I've used, like, I can't even remember. I've used so many. I've tried the bougie expensive ones. I've tried the, like, drugstore ones. Is that American or is that English? Drugstore? I don't know. Anyway, I've used everything. And these, they're hydrating. They're moisturizing. They glide on perfectly. The applicator is so good it's squidgy and it glides along your lip and these are my favorite scents at the moment so i love a coffee so this is absolutely perfect for me so you've got the ice latte yeah iced coffee flavor and then you've got the vanilla flavor they are both just as good as each other i find the um vanilla one is a little bit more thinner in consistency the iced coffee one is a bit thicker but i love both and this one's slightly darker in hue. I see a lot of people with white skin test these products out, but not that many people with brown skin. So those are the swatches. So this one is the iced coffee and this one is the vanilla. So this one is like more clear and this one is like a brown tint to it. I use them for different occasions. So yeah, highly recommend 1010, hydrating, moisturizing, everything you could want in a lip balm. So this is a new favorite actually. I feel like I can't believe I did not know what this was and I'd never used it until recently, but this is MAC Lip Liner in shade Core. When I tell you this is the perfect shade, so I, I'm not super dark, my skin, but I'm also not super light. Bear in mind, I've got a tan right now. So I'm usually much lighter than this, probably the color of my tea. That's the color of my face. And I, I just, I like a dark lip liner, but not something too dark. So this is literally perfect for me. This is what it looks like on my hand. It's quite dark. But when you pair it, so I pair it a lot of the time with these. I'm not the biggest fan of lipsticks anymore because it can be quite dehydrating and I haven't found the right one yet that makes me feel like it's got the right hue as well as the right hydrating consistency. But these, I can depend on these to hydrate me and also look good with the lip liner. Those are two essentials you will always find in my handbag is cork lip liner and Summer Friday's lip balm. If I haven't got those with me, something has gone wrong somewhere. <laughs> this next one is a firm favorite. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, get to know. <laughs> this is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser. Now, I mentioned already that I have really sensitive skin. I have got acne prone skin. I have got hyperpigmentation, I've got acne scars, and this is the most gentle cleanser I have used. Again, I've used quite a few, but nothing compares, nothing compares to this cleanser. It's literally 
the softest thing in the entire world that I've ever used. I can't even explain it. You have to try it. This is the jumbo size. It's the 240 mil. You can also get it in 120 mil. This is always sold out <laughs> everywhere, but the 120 mil is always there to buy and it's a good size to try. It's literally half the size of this. So it's definitely worth trying, especially if you've got sensitive skin, acne prone skin. So I use this in the morning and then I use it as my second cleanse in the evening when I'm doing my double cleanse. And I just, I have, I can't say any more than it's just the best cleanser in the world for me personally. Let, let me take a sip of my tea because all this chatting is making my throat dry. So we're moving on from skincare and we're moving to hair. Now, if you are Indian, you will most likely know about this. This is Amla hair oil. You can see it, it is there, clear as day. I cannot praise this product enough. So my mum used to use this on me as a kid all the time growing up. She used to give me head massages every week and put this in my hair and I'd sleep with it with plaits on and my hair used to be so soft. And then as I was growing up, I kind of like was very anti as you are as a kid and you're like, I don't want that. Ugh, I don't want my hair to look greasy. Ugh. And as I've, <laughs> in the last two, three years, I've realized how incredible this product is realized how much of an idiot I am not using it. I use this every single week without fail and I I try to drench my hair in it. So I, I wash my hair once a week and when it gets to that oily stage and it's due a hair wash, the night before I wash my hair, I put this all the day, even in the morning, I put this in, I slick back my hair, I put some other products in it as well, but it comes out so soft. So in the last few I'd say about six months, I've been using it consistently and I went to have my hair cut and my hairdresser was like, your hair is so soft and healthy. What the hell have you been doing it to it? And I was like, girl, it's Amla. It's Amla hair oil. And I've been telling everyone I know about this. So if you have blonde hair, don't worry, but don't use this because your hair will go green. <laughs> there is one specifically made for blonde hair. I put my friend onto it because I didn't know about the blonde hair one, okay? I'm not, I haven't got blonde hair, I've got jet black hair. And she was like, Menam, my hair turned green. I was like, what? So I Googled it, found out they do a blonde one. So if you have blonde hair, please don't buy this one. I'll put a picture of it up here. I think it's Amla Gold, it's called. I'm pretty sure it's Amla Gold. Buy that one because you don't want your hair turning green. But it is just, it's hydrating, it makes your hair soft, do it once a week, use it as a mask, you can't go wrong, you'll have the softest hair on earth. Okay, on the topic of hair, we have this, JVN Instant Recovery Serum. I only started using this recently and I heard really good things about it, I wasn't sure. In the past, products that I've used on my hair haven't really worked. I used a Garnier mask and when I tell you it stripped my hair of all the oils and it was the driest thing on earth. I started using this and it just brought my hair back to life. So after I wash my hair, towel dry it and then I put this on and I just dry my hair with this kind of in it. One, it brings my frizz down because I have super frizzy hair and it just reduces the frizz but also it just helps soften it a little bit. It's also um, got heat protectant in it which is great and it's colour safe so if you've got hair colour, hair dye, highlights, any of that, it won't ruin that so yeah recommend this is a great product. So the next thing I want to talk about is this bracelet. So this bracelet is from Amazon, it's a Cartier dupe and it's a dupe of the love bracelet which I've always wanted and I know a lot of girls want the love bracelet it's beautiful I've wanted one for ages and they're super expensive they've gone up in price so much and I was like do you know what I am gonna search on Amazon see if I can find a good one and I found this and you literally screw it on as you would do with the Cartier love bracelet and it comes with the screwdriver in the pack when I tell you, I've worn this for a month 
and it hasn't tarnished it i've worn it in the shower i have not taken it off quite frankly and it's such good quality i mean it doesn't look exactly like the cartier okay but it looks quite close people are going to have their opinions because i've had people commenting saying yeah but why would you buy that it's not actually cartier yeah so what i want it it's pretty I literally don't take this off. I love it. There was a specific size that I got. They've got different sizes on there. I can't remember it. I'll put it in the description below. I've also got my Amazon affiliate link. So if you want to buy it, then you can click directly in there. But it's beautiful. It's stunning. And it's like 20 something pounds. I, I just can't recommend it enough. I literally sleep with it on. I shower with it. And it makes me feel good. And that's why I wear jewellery. Because I feel good about it. And I like it. Not because I want joey or hannah or beverly to feel good about it because i quite frankly beverly i don't really care what you think do you know what i mean so i would i i just it's my favorite thing it makes me feel good and when i see it in the reflection it makes me smile so amazon are doing bits right now to be quite honest with you the next thing i want to get onto is not for my tea lovers it's for my coffee lovers so if you have a Nespresso machine, there are two new, well actually there are three new festive flavors, but these two are my absolute favorite. So this is my top favorite new Nespresso flavor. It is the peanut and sesame flavor. And when I tell you it tastes like Christmas in a cup, it tastes like Christmas in a cup, just take my word for it. And then you've got the almond croissant flavor, which I, <laughs> I didn't love it as much as I loved last year's that was by Pierre Hermé. That one was the best and no other flavour pod can top that quite frankly and I've still got some saved because I have hoarded them. But it is good, it does taste like an almond croissant. Now the next thing is this. This is the Torani, Torani, Torani vanilla sugar-free syrup. I put this in all my coffees and it does elevate them. I put it in both of those flavour pods and it makes them so much better. I just love that syrup. It doesn't taste really fake like other syrups and you don't need tons of it. It is quite sweet, but it's not overly sweet and it has a really nice vanilla flavor. Again, I've linked that below. You can buy that through my Amazon storefront. It is like 10 quid and it just, it does the job. And if you've got a sweet tooth, I just think it's perfect. It, it fits my coffee station perfectly. So yeah, recommend those three. But if I had to recommend one thing out of those three things, it would definitely be the Torani syrup. Next, we're gonna move to TV. So Netflix, if you've got Netflix, there are two shows that I have been loving this month. The first one is Nobody Wants This. It's got Kristen Bell in it, who is in Frozen. She's not Elsa, she's Anna. And it's so good. I binged it. I literally binge watched it. It's about a typical relationship with hurdles. And that's what I love about it. It's about a relationship that has hurdles and it shows you them overcoming it. It's got like funny moments. It's got kind of moments that are emotional and that touch you. It's just really good. I would highly recommend. If you're a rom-com girl, I feel like you'll love it. If you just need something to watch that's comforting, again, I would highly recommend it. It's just really good. Have a watch. My other show that I would recommend is Starting Five. Now this is a sports documentary based on and around NBA players. So NBA players are basketball players in America basically. And I am not the biggest NBA fan. I don't really watch it, but my boyfriend loves it. He watches the highlights every morning of the games and I know of it through him, but I love watching documentaries about sport because there's something about athletes. They're just so focused. They're so driven. They're so motivated. It always inspires me. And I love seeing people that talk about their passions. And it's just one that's worth watching if you like those kinds of things. So again, highly recommend it if you like that. And if not, give it a go. You might surprise yourself. You never know. Do you know what? I oh, I was about to say, do you know what I mean? But I stopped myself so I don't know if that counts maybe that's a half we're gonna move to wellness and the wellness kind of section of this video oh what's going on there because I feel like I've really prioritized wellness this month and I've got some really good recommendations I feel like 
everyone and their mum has this gratitude journal, but it is really good. So if you've not seen inside, let me give you, let me show you. So I actually got this from Teamu, but you can get it from Amazon. You can get it from loads of places. In the morning, you've got different things. You've got quotes, you've got weekly challenges, and then it sets out three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great, and then a positive affirmation. So that's in the morning. So that's in like this light color. And then grayed out at the bottom is your nighttime thing. So you write in it in the morning, you focus your mind, and then you come back to it in the evening and you kind of round up your day. So you write three good things that happened in the day. And then you also write what you learned today. And I just find it's really helped me focus my mind and focus on things that I'm grateful for. I love practicing gratitude and this just really helps and makes it easy to do it. So if you're someone that likes practicing gratitude and or you want to get a nice gift for someone, I think this makes a really cute gift and it doesn't break the bank. My next wellness recommendation, I'm laughing because it's so random, is the Hydra Jug. A water bottle is really essential to well-being because I... I Unless you're at home all day and you have access to glasses to drink out of all day, it's really hard when you're on the go to drink. And I feel like this makes it easy. The one thing I will say is it is heavy. I've got the, I think it's like the two litre one or something. I don't think it says on the bottom, but it's amazing. And it doesn't leak. So this, I used to have the Stanley and it didn't have this top. It had the top of the straw, you know, the, you know, the one I'm on about and it leaked. This does not leak. I've seen so many people online buying the Stanley Cup and then they separately buy the Hydra Jug or Amazon lids to prevent it from leaking because the Stanleys leak. But this doesn't leak. It's super cute. It's got a rubber bottom, which I absolutely love because it just, when you put it down, it doesn't like bang. And the straw is just like this. I just love it and it goes in the dishwasher so it just helps me to drink lots of water every day and it keeps it cold for much longer than my Stanley did so I mean just saying. My last recommendation and my last favourite of October has been this, the White Company Sleep Mist. So this is lavender and chamomile I've tried a couple of these, not the White Company one, they're different brands, lavender sprays. One of them was the brand This Works and This Works didn't work for me. <laughs> the White Company one, it's actually really like potent and I can s actually smell it and it doesn't make me want to vomit. I think it might be the chamomile in it, but it just, it smells really calming and relaxing and I spray it literally here before I go to bed and then I get in bed and as I'm falling asleep it just makes my whole body relax. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but sleep mist really does it for me when I'm going to sleep. So if you're struggling to sleep or you just need that extra bit of help, extra bit of soothing when you're going to bed, I would recommend it. Again, it's this is a bit more on the expensive side but I do think it's worth it because like I said, I've not found one that works for me apart from this. And those are my October favorites. There was quite a few different things there. Like I said, I'm gonna put it in the description box below so that you can have a little read of it and go and buy it if you wanna try them out or if you forgot about it and I reminded you and you now wanna go get it for yourself and treat yourself. Like I said, if it can make your day better by even 2%, it's worth it to me. And some of these things, yes, they're a little bit more on the pricey side. Some of them are more affordable. If you like a coffee, like I said, the vanilla syrup, 10 quid. Do you know what I mean? A couple of those things are on my Amazon storefront. I will input the link below. And if there's a product that you have had this month that has been a firm favorite for you, write it below because I would love to know and I love to try these things. It's the best way to find new things is by recommendation. So I hope you've enjoyed my recommendations and this video and I will see you in the next one.